church building movie rocketry there's yeah, a it's... sequence picture of sarabhai and homi baba the sounding rocket sarabhai is here dr gupta muttu nayagam data the aripatan paskara these are the actual shapes real size will be something like this rohini was a satellite for slv3 rocket the apple is the satellite which was the first communication satellite indian way to do to do, do, do things the mangalyaan the chandrayaan 1 this is space capsule recovery experiment and this must be a big one sir. this is the slv3 rocket yeah. that's the sounding rocket yeah. then came the gslv this is a new rocket which we designed recently this is a gaganyaan's first test flight this is our navigation navic satellite resource sat is basically for mapping of the earth astro sat is the space observatory so that's 3d earth. this is a weather satellite it is gold how big could it be from that wall to this wall this is the first of the rockets we built that was a television broadcast that happened in 1972 all in the radio made program and transmitted and this is a classical picture of course. yes sir What you see here is the church building at uh, Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station near western coast of India near Trivandrum. So this is the building where the rocket work started. Okay. Uh, this village was a fisherman village uh, and the church handed over handed over this uh, building to Vikram Sarabhai and Kalam and others started working on building the early rockets sounding rockets within this building. Today this building is a museum. Sir, I think in the movie Rocketry, there's yeah, a it, sequence. Yeah, it's there. Yes. And this building adjacent to it is was the office of uh, Kalam. Okay. When he was uh, sitting there, it used to be the uh, pa parish uh, home. Uh -huh. You can now see here a picture of Sarabhai and Homi Baba huh. uh, looking to look for the ISRO sites somewhere. Okay. And this is the early launch of the sounding rocket, which is the Rohini sounding rocket. The earlier rockets, uh, they didn't carry anything. They carry some payload, uh, okay. there is some instruments, small instruments, or some chaff. It's called copper chaff, which will come through the atmosphere and it will and be then again come back. It will be tracked through radars. Okay. And this is a collection of some of the seniors at that time. Sarabhai is here. Hmm. This Dr. Gupta, who used to be the director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Muttu Nayagam, who used to be the chief of the liquid propulsion later, created mm. the LPSC. Here you can see Sarabhai, uh, this is uh, Tata. These are the early satellites, uh, the Aripata and Paskara, which uh, went in the Russian launcher, uh, built in uh, Bangalore, the very first satellites which was built. Mostly scientific experiments, looking at the atmospheric. So these are the actual shapes? like Actual the shapes, but real size will be something like this. Okay. Okay. Much bigger. And what was, I mean, uh, the purpose for, like, let's say, Aryabhata? Aryabhata. They have uh, measurements, uh, basically, to the atmospheric measurements, because at that time, Professor Yuva Rao and all were uh, Sarabhai were all interested in cosmic rays. Okay. So cosmic rays study measurements, atmospheric measurements, electron densities, and this were the early part of the measurements. They try to do through this. This Pas as well. Yeah, Bhaskara, and we are the second generation of that. Mm -hmm. Rohini was a, again, a, uh, this is the first satellite for SLV-3 rocket. Okay. Built for uh, that purpose, it's only 35 kilogram. Okay. And again, like? Again, uh, it's, a, it's much smaller. Okay. It's much smaller satellite. And uh, Apple is the satellite, which was the first communication satellite in ISRO built. Apple must be an acronym. Aerial Passenger Payload Experiment. Yeah, not the Apple that we eat. Uh, not the Apple that we eat. So it was launched in uh, Arian rocket. Uh -huh. from French Guiana Kuru. Okay. It was a free ride because that was inaugural launch of the Arian sat rocket. Okay. And somebody was uh, offering it as a free ride. So then we, we immediately built a satellite and sent <laughs> there to launch. <laughs> that's that's the that's the right Indian way to do to, to, to do things. Of course, this is the Mars Orbiter mission, yes, the Mangalayan, the Chandrayaan one. So Chandrayaan one, uh, if I'm not wrong, was uh, like uh, it was meant to crash on the surface of the moon. No, Chandrayaan one totally was not meant to crash. So okay. you can see here that the tip, there is a small rectangular box. Okay. That box is called Moon Impact Probe. Okay. That only separated and impacted. Okay. Chandrayaan one continued to orbit around. Okay. So this part separated and then part separated and it had a camera. It has some sensors. While it was entering through the moon, it imaged and did measurements hmm. and finally went and crashed. And I believe Chandrayaan one was the one just ne uh, ice ko identify and Chandrayaan one tha. found out the trace of it. Ice on the. But it worked only for a short duration. It's almost one year it worked. Is this, this is a space capsule recovery experiment. SRE. Okay. So this was the first satellite we went to orbit, hmm. then returned and captured back on back in Earth. So we brought it back and brought to sea so using parachutes. Can, yeah, we can see the yeah. parachutes. It it and landed in sea, huh. and then we went in a ship and collected it back. It's still there in Trivandrum. You can go and see it. And this must be a big one, sir. It's a big one. Huh. And uh, this is the SLV-3 rocket, which was the Abdul Kalam's rocket. Huh. 
then its uh, variety variant is this where uh -huh. the core was repeatedly used okay. and the augmented satellite launch vehicle was built so when this launch was going on i joined isro okay okay this was not at built aslv and then you worked on the PSLV. yeah then we worked on it so the, the pslv is the one PSLV for is the, the first aditya l1 aditya l1 which which uh -huh. is sent yeah so uh, i see there are all 1 is to 20, 20 scales 20 so 20. it means that if pslv is this big it's on the same scale yeah, so it's all relative yeah, yeah. it's all you it's can, all you relative. can look at the the first rocket it's oh. also same scale so that's the sounding uh, ah, that was sounding that's the sounding rocket yeah. okay we we launch it even today rs300 we launch okay. rs560 we launch uh -huh. even now we launch then came the gslv the here now here the point i want to tell is this is the first time we started introducing liquid propellant okay so this is a liquid propellant here also there is a liquid propellant hmm. but when you came to gslv we started the cryogenics okay so the black colored portion is a cryogenic stage hmm. in gsl mar3 also the cryogenic stage uh, which was developed this is a russian origin cryogenic stage okay but later we converted to indian but this is the original indian design the so entire rocket all the uh, vikas engines uh, the first two are the the central ones are the vikas engines okay. but these two are solid boosters okay and this is a new rocket which we re designed recently uh -huh. called small satellite launch vehicle primarily to do a rocket with very very low cost uh, again yeah coming from the conversion we had yeah, yeah. yeah. so it is uh, this has a cost which is 110 of the pslv uh -huh. no need to launch the pslv yeah, you can just but launch we can launch one almost one. half the payload or one third the payload so it's such a drastic cost much production. more efficient way. yeah so uh, do we still hold the record for the maximum number of satellites 104 no no i don't think uh, we have somebody else exceeded 140 or something okay. i think it is done by spacex but i'm sure we're going to break it again sometime soon you can always do that yeah <laughs> <laughs> records can always be created yes. and this is a launch which is going to take place in october huh. this is a gaganyan's first test flight so inside there is a crew module okay. the crew will sit so we are going to launch it to something like 20 kilometers initially and, would and be unmanned no this is not going to orbit now okay. it will go to an orbit uh, altitude it will about the launch and recover the crew okay so to demonstrate how you to recover this is a crew escape system okay. so what you see here huh. it has some motors etc it will fire and bring the crew module back safely safely to, to, to land so what would be the capacity like how many uh, crew members would be we can take up to 3 Okay. that's the planning but of course we may not send 3 hmm. depending upon the situation this are some of our communication satellites yeah. insat series uh. so it started with insat series which is uh, currently around 10 of them are there then this is our navigation navic satellite indian regional the regional navigation, navigation satellite system, system. Yeah. gsat 19 is also the another generation of communication satellite which is a high throughput hmm. means it has a certain 20 gbps type of data capability resource sat is basically for mapping of the earth in uh, land uh, sea and other uh, data is one of the one of the remote sensing satellite there are many many remote sensing satellites astrosat is the space observatory hmm. which we have launched and people are actually not speaking much about it it's one of the very high scientific satellite much jab bhi koi satellite launch hota hai Uh, of course uh, we take the benefit of course you know it's our satellite but uh, are there uh, some satellites jahan pe duniya mein baki countries ko bhi kuch benefit milta hai sabhi yeah sabhi ko milta hai yes, astrosat do do scientific outcome jo aaya hai na huh. ye hum share karte hain okay sabhi scientific establishment ke it's an open data policy uh -huh. humne karte hain ye for example you look at uh, i don't have the satellite here the insat 3ds 3dr okay they are weather satellites so that's 3dr insat 3dr ah 3dr okay yes. this is a weather satellite huh. so the clouds cloud data rain precipitation cyclone data it's all shared across the nations hmm. for disaster warning everything we use so just one curiosity two two questions actually um, i mean uh, for example what would be the size of uh, a navic satellite once the panels are extended how big would it be uh this will be approximately hmm, from that wall to this wall uh so 40 50 feet minimum yeah, yeah. and sir so why it's all gold and that that's how the weight looks it will not exactly like this one it will huh. be little uh, rough like a foil it's a foil it's it's actually not a foil it's a multi layer there are about 7 10 layers of various materials basically it it controls the heating okay and cooling okay so inside temperature suppose sun is here hmm. only those surfaces will be very hot okay just behind that it will be deep cool okay because unlike in the surf, earth when you stand everywhere is same temperature hmm. but in space it is not like that if you are looking at sun this area will burn oh back side will freeze uh, so so it's not that the difference will be yeah, yeah, so. yeah very high difference will be there so internally you have a thermal 
management system. Okay. There is a fluid flowing inside, cooling the hotter region, mo moving the heat from here to this. Hmm. So this this reflects most of the heat. And so, it is gold, gold foil. It is it is or, gold. Huh. It is gold, but it is called mylar. It's a material, synthetic material. Okay. It is aluminium. Okay. Okay. So it's aluminized uh, capton. We call it. And multiple layers. <coughs> multiple layers. Here also you can see the. RH-75, this is the first of the rockets we built. Uh, Mr. H.G.S. Murthy, who, who built the Sriharikota launch complex, he uh -huh. is there with Sarabhai. And this picture is very classical picture. See, what you see a television there? Yes. That was a television broadcast that happened in 1972. Okay. Using a US satellite brought to India. Hmm. And we, they set up some antenna in Ahmedabad hmm. and started beaming television programs by All India Radio. Okay. All India Radio made program and transmitted. So, uh, almost a uh, large number of villages at that time. So it was a satellite instructional television program, site program, which is uh, just shown there. 19? Uh, it must be 1972, 70, uh, five, 75. 75 period, yeah. And this shows uh, one of the insight being taken for electromagnetic interference testing because oh. it cannot be taken in a metallic system, so huh. wooden system. Wooden, uh, got and this is a classical picture. Yes, sir. So, we hope that the ISRO is going to grow and 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 grow and